Question number one is, is it wrong to use assumption based improvements and test them in a pilot environment? This is a question we got from Damien, um, a true fan, Damien. Daniel, uh, first of all, what, uh, what is the context of this question? I think the context uh, here, it's, it's a usual debate about how much assumption and how much true customer research do we actually need. Um, uh, is it okay to just make assumptions early on in the project and then we come up with, uh, with, uh, with solutions uh, and then we test those in, in pilots? Um, so I think that's kind of the background. And I think that the, the answer to this, as usually in the things that we answer here, Mark, there's not a, an easy yes or no to those questions. I mean, to use assumptions early on in the project, it it's, it's could be very useful because, because there it's important to get everyone on the train about customer journey mapping. So then it's maybe better to not fight for resources to make true customer research. So then it's better to start working with assumptions and involve a lot of internal stakeholders. Because what will happen later on is that people will, uh, clever people will say, is this assumption based or is this a true uh, customer story? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you have a lot of people fighting for a real customer in, real customer insights inside instead of wishful thinking assumptions and that's a much clever way to to go that's one one answer to this yeah so i i i've been using this analogy uh, a lot of times so people who have heard me uh, talking know this one but i i usually compare this to the business model canvas yeah. like uh you, you usually people just go in a workshop, start filling it in, and by filling it in, they start to understand where the gaps are <clears throat> yeah. and yeah. where the knowledge gaps are and what they need to do instead of first researching and then filling in the business model canvas. Uh, I think that's that's a good way to go. The, the challenge would be how do we prevent people from um, not not taking the assumption-based map as the truth? Because I think... That mm. tends to happen a lot. Mm. Yeah, that tends to happen a lot. And I think that the important thing there is to, to relate to a few questions. Um, and that is, I think the most powerful question here to ask p people in the team and maybe people responsible for the, for, for the resources is, are we sure that we are solving the right problem? Hmm. If we do assumptions early in the project and then we create things and do tests of those pilot pilot uh, uh, test solutions, maybe we are just uh, uh, testing together with the customer solutions on a wrong prob the wrong hmm. problem. So I think the big challenge here is the question we have to, to ask people to get people uh, stakeholders to to be willing to do true customer research is to are we really solving the right problem we have to first together with the customer understand the problem and then together with the customer we could create the solution right if we don't right. create the problem it's it's like traditional uh, digital a and b testing i mean everybody's familiar with a and b testing Usually what it ends up is that we have two bad solutions, A and B. <laughs> and the A and B testing are showing us that A is a little less bad than mm. B. Let's go with A then. Mm. So mm. that's why it's so important to, to make sure that we are solving the right problem. A, a general design uh, tip, uh, I'd say. Yeah. And, and when, you are already, when you already have solutions you have kind of closed your ear for that kind of listening that broadened the perspective. Mm, exactly. And I mean, for me, I mean, I've been doing so many projects and today, today I work with, with Castellans in my daily, um, daily, and I see so many things that we are developing in Castellans where we, if we listen to the customers, 
will and not understand the problem, we would go wrong in a few months. Mm. This would be an unusual useful tool.